applying the right amount of fertilizer and doing it at the right time is really critical for maintaining a healthy lawn. Too much fertilizer actually is detrimental to the soil and to the plants. When it comes to fertilizing, more is not better. We recommend slow release or even better organic fertilizers because it takes the beneficial microbes in the soil to break them down to make them available for the soils. What about weed and feed? Well, we're finding that weed and feeds are a big problem because they contain pesticides. We're finding a lot of these poisons in our rivers, streams, and waterways. Even if you don't live near an area with water, it's getting to water, and that's what people need to keep in mind. Plus, we're finding through studies that children and pets are probably at the highest risk for all these products because of their small size. Then they're tracking them into the house also. So now we have the pesticides and those harmful chemicals exposed to everyone else in the household. For these reasons, we really recommend limiting your exposure to any of these products or any of these poisons. So I'd recommend using a slow release or an organic fertilizer, which also would help minimize any leaching of nutrients into our waterways. When you're buying a bag of fertilizer, you'll notice three numbers. It's N, P, and K, which is nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. In our northwest soils, we have an abundant amount of phosphorus, so you should look for a ratio of 3, 0, 2, which means there'd be zero for the phosphorus. We found in our urban environment, most lawns might need three to four pounds of nitrogen per thousand square feet, and that would be over the whole year. Uh, but if the lawn's healthy, if the soil's healthy, if you're mulch mowing, uh, you can reduce the amount of nitrogen you're putting out. If you let your lawn go dormant, you don't have to put out as much nitrogen. So a lot of lawns might be able to get by with maybe one or two pounds of nitrogen per year. And this will save you time and money on your lawn care. When applying fertilizers, you always want to follow the instructions and read it carefully to make sure you're doing it correctly. You're going to want to calculate how much you're going to use according to your lawn size to make sure you put it down correctly. Accurately measure your lawn and then an easy way to do it is maybe taking your bag of fertilizer and dividing it into equal amounts so it's easier for you to be able to put it out there and not have to wait if you don't want to. If any of that product gets on any sidewalks, driveways, hardscapes, you need to clean that off and get it back onto the soil surface, back into the lawn area, so it can start doing what it's meant to do instead of getting into our water systems. The easiest and most accurate way of putting down fertilizer is to put half the amount in your spreader and do the lawn in one direction, and then you come around and you do it in a different direction with the other half, and you'll get a nice, even application on the lawn. What time of year do I apply the fertilizer? recommendation would be to use it in fall time. If you're gonna fertilize twice a year, use it once in fall time, and then again, put it in springtime, late spring, after we've had that surge of growth in the early spring season. 